uh, welcome and uh, congratulations to your offer for BCG. So um, first question maybe, how did you get the happy news? So did they call you directly at the day um, of your interviews or how did this uh, arrive at you? Yeah, first of all, thanks. Uh, thanks a lot. Um, so I had my second round actually on site. So um, I was in one of their offices. And uh, so after all the interview processes uh, were, were done, we had a very long lunch break and an office tour. Um, so we, we got a bit of entertainment. And after these two hours, basically, we got feedback and then I got the good news um, right away. So um, the positive feedback and already like um, a contract and a really nice message also by the entire team and recruiting team. So I, I knew it right away. Which was super okay. nice. That seems to be uh, uh, was a smooth pull first, then, right? So yeah, um, very, exactly. very nice. And I also uh, know that uh, quite some people have uh, given you a call after uh, afterwards, right? So also congratulating you personally that you have met on the journey, right? When um, discussing and approaching uh, other colleagues of BCG, yes. right? Yes, exactly. So first of all, um, they all came together in the office. So uh, everyone yeah. I met at the day tried to also um, congratulate me in person then again. And then yeah. um, exactly afterwards, uh, once I signed the, the contract, um, yeah. yeah, I actually uh, received out of the blue emails of, um, yeah, super happy that you're joining. Yeah. Cool. Very good. So must must have been a, a pretty decent performance, right? And subsequently, you pulled out of all other processes as this was your <laughs> uh, number one priority anyways, yeah, right? exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, I mean, let's um, also look back a little bit, right? Um, because I had the pleasure to work personally <laughs> with you and uh, witness your transformation, which was um, pretty impressive. So, if you reflect back on where you were when we started with the coaching program and then also looking at the development path that you took during um, the program. So what are your thoughts here, right? What was the most significant change or maybe two or three of them that fueled your success? So is there any particular thing you would single out here? Mm -hmm. I think here um, the key point I would say was to to get away from these framework thinking like what you usually find online like all these resources you can you can find on YouTube prep lounge like I think there are uh, many of websites providing you with this and to get really to a more um, problem solving um, so thinking I know it now sounded like I'm basically re uh, <laughs> resetting your your website. <laughs> Uh, but I would say it's definitely true. Like I have to admit in the beginning, I was also a bit skeptical before joining the program. If that's really possible or if this is more something, okay, um, which, uh, which, yeah, is, is a mark if it is a marketing <laughs> message or if, exactly, it's, if exactly. it is a so, core uh, of what we're doing, right? To be yes. honest, I, I had also my doubts in the beginning of it, but I have to say that it was definitely the right way to go and that I could see the more I also, um, progressed in your program and within the development of practice. Um, I felt like quite confident with any type of case, like it did not matter. Like it now sounds really like I, I basically restate your your message, but <laughs> true. So um, I also uh, thought about okay, how how do I answer this question now? Yeah. But it's really true. Um, so also what you focus on and that you really um, think how can I solve this problem and then also make your communication um, very much to the client. Like I was not when I was solving the case, I was not thinking okay, you know what framework have I maybe used in the past which could fit whatever. So I didn't even do this uh, thinking path. I was more focused, okay, what is the issue? How can I, in a logical way, break it down and get to a result quite, quite yes. quick? Um, yeah, and I yeah. think this was for me the key, the key um, learning which also um, helped me to success. Yes, <laughs> yes, and 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 uh, I mean, let me let me comment on on this to to clarify, right? And in, in terms of what actually does this mean with an example? Because usually, if you are uh, using the uh, framework based approaches, right, you you have the the question, and then you come up with, yeah, that this is like the four piece, uh, three C's, uh, um, uh, seven A's. What do I know, right? I, I can, mm. don't even know them, all of them, and because it's irrelevant, right? Because your job is to first and foremost explain to the interviewer why you would like to do what, right? And mm. then it is about how you will do this, right? And all of this is an interaction. And if you are just like um, 
yeah, learning frameworks by heart and then uh, pressing them into the concrete issue of the client. This is just not what is expected from you, right? And your interviewers will not value this. And also think about this from an interviewer's perspective, right? Um, so you're hearing or you're forced to listen to this like, I don't know, 50 times, 100 times, 150 times. Um, so uh, a different approach is really something uh, which you're very happy to see and you also will open up the discussion on this if you see um, yeah, a prospective candidate using it, right? So mm -hmm. um, very well done here. Cool. Maybe also speaking a little bit about the struggles you had on the journey, right? Mm -hmm. So what, is, um, what was it that uh, you would single out here? What was um, the, the biggest challenges you had? Mm -hmm. So I would say uh, before joining uh, your program, it was definitely the overflow um, on information, like on what to practice, what you find online. So I didn't really know where to start, like where to put my focus, where not, how do I start, how do I prepare? So I was missing a bit a red thread, if you if yeah. you put it yeah. that way. Yeah. Um, so that was definitely something um, also your broker um, provided me with. So something I can basically uh, kind of like put a task list. Okay, today I prepare this, next day yeah. I do that. Yeah. So that was super, super helpful to also get a structured preparation in. Yeah. Um, and then and I after you think, joined the program, what was then yeah, your biggest, your biggest challenge? To say, uh, to, say, to say that too. And then I would say after I, I joined the program, also to basically internalize all of what is what is taught. So it's I think it's one, one part what I also um, learned myself to know theoretically, like to be mm -hmm. to do like, okay, theoretically, I know what I should do. But then it's another part, which also... Um, requires more time than I initially thought um, to actually put it into into action, into um, applying it. And I think here, for me, it was really key to um, practice with the right people and to just learn it by experience, by also reviewing my own um, performance. And I think it's the best way to learn, like um, even like the just the peer practicing or practicing with others for me was the most valuable um, yeah. way once I knew the theoretical concepts um, and what I what I like where was at the point I know theoretically what I should do it was the best to just apply it with peers um, and also to see how peers are actually yes. um, performing which I would say underestimated a bit before having done so that um, how valuable this also can be but here also to have the right peers which I think is a very critical factor yeah. um, to, yes. to the success but Definitely also underestimated the time a bit, I yeah, it is, admit. It, it's true, right? So, and how did you enjoy listening to yourself when you're performing, right? Yeah. <laughs> how, did, yeah. how did you like that? <laughs> because most people don't really like this and we make them all listen to their own performances, right? For a good reason. Mm -hmm. um, but how did this feel for you? Of course, it felt uncomfortable. I would yeah. like, if I, if I would say now, it was uh, super enjoyable um, listening to to yourself and seeing, okay, where did you maybe go wrong? Where yeah. would you think you could have done better? Um, and also just um, maybe also seeing yourself not coming to the point in communication and you're like, okay, why the heck um, have I done it so complicated? But yeah. I think it's, I would recommend to do so, even though it does not feel um, yes. comfortable or like enjoyable task to do, but I think it definitely pays off in the end. Yeah, that's an interesting point. I mean, we also had long discussions when we designed the didactical backbone of the program, right? And this was the, um, the best outcome because first you get the theoretical foundations, right? Then you get the mentor input on what you need yeah. to change and where you're standing, right? What are your biggest challenges? And then it's about um, also listening to yourself and your own performance and uh, practicing this with peers in a targeted way, right? And um, the, I mean, you can have a thousand mentors coaching sessions right in the end you need to analyze why you did what you did exactly, exactly. Uh, a mentor no matter how senior it is can only tell you what was the perception mm -hmm. here what is needed right and what you can change but <laughs> the the step from why i did what i did right this is with you as an individual because unfortunately no one else can look inside your head and help you with this right um so yeah that's uh, that's a big one um so i mean when we when we also speak about someone that would now start um, for the next cycle to prepare, right? So what would you um, yeah, suggest that individual to do? 
Mm -hmm. I think here I would I would basically suggest uh, three three things. Um, so first of all, to plan um, ahead and don't uh, put yourself, if not needed, an unnecessarily deadline of okay, I want to have the interview, um, let's say um, mid of November, because yeah. that's my initial plan. Even if you feel um, I'm not ready, because in the end, um, I also, by the way, rescheduled um, one one of the interviews. Um, because if you don't feel 100% ready, then it's better. I think the two weeks more of practice will, um, yeah. will be more beneficial than just sticking to your, um, to your timeline if there's not any um, further yeah. uh, critical reason, which of yeah, course yeah. probably differs case by case. Yeah. Second, um, I would say really put yourself into the preparation. And for example, I focused on it fully, like I dedicated... Um, uh, I dedicated some some time where I was like, okay, this is like my task as I would mm -hmm. usually, um, I don't know, study for university or yes. if I do an internship. So this was really my my task. So um, this was my full attention. Of course, I know I'm in a lucky position that I had the time and was able um, to do so. But I would say if you're able to do so, also fully commit to it, because in the end, I think you are getting more out of this if you put the full focus then doing it a bit like a side hustle or a bit on the side. Of course, I understand that this might be difficult if you are applying um, as an experienced hire and you have yeah. your full-time job, but that's definitely something for, I would say, um, graduate hires I can definitely um, highly recommend. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would say a third regarding the practice, of course, uh, focus on on the case practice and not learn um, frameworks by heart practice with the right peers but also very importantly don't forget about the fit part um, mm -hmm. as I believe this uh, is often a factor also when talking to people um, who are in the application process as well um, mainly it's only like case 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 uh, but no one really talks about the fit part and I believe or that's also what I realized in my interview process it yeah. was quite essential and yeah. um, also here I think you should at least reflect on yourself um, what you want to what you want to show and just be prepared also for the fit part yes so that is indeed an important uh, one right let me maybe comment on, on all three of them <laughs> so with regards to uh, when to take the interview right um, yes absolutely if it's possible to reschedule and this is possible for many 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 different regions in the world right for some it's not unfortunately <laughs> uh, then you should reschedule or if it's not then please start early right mm -hmm. start early yeah. and buy yourself that flexibility to either intensify or relax a little bit on the journey right once you're already performing in a consistent manner right but well if you're starting a week before your interviews are scheduled it's just too late right it's just too late and if you cannot postpone it well you will usually get the result that is expected here mm -hmm. from a situation like this um so that with regards to um the one and maybe with regards to the um last point also so the peers right and what you could do with them in a systematic manner is, I believe, very important um, because here you can not only select the right peers, but also you can do different things with them, right? So you can um, and not only give yourself a case, you can also look at one specific problem and discuss it together, right? And just have an, an open discussion. And um, with regards to the fit, that it also applies, right? Um, have a discussion about this. So don't test each other now on all fit categories because you're not qualified, but it's also helpful to just discuss. So um, let me understand, do you think this is a relevant characteristic mm -hmm. for uh, working in MBB because um, the vast majority of candidates we are seeing, they are approach, so before they join the program, they are approaching the fit and PI questions exactly as they are approaching the case question, right? They try to uh, learn as many questions as possible by heart and tr even try to pre-learn uh, some sample answers to these questions, <laughs> right? When then there is a question coming that is somewhat similar, they just answer with what they have learned by heart, right? And just try to, to push it into uh, the interviewer's face more or less, right? And then, uh, well, for sure, it's not a fit, right? Because you need to be clear on what are the characteristics they are looking for and what makes a good consultant from their perspective, right? And then it also gets easy to develop answers on the fly. So I'm not saying here you shouldn't come prepared, right? But mm -hmm. I'm saying here don't learn things by heart, right? Because this is not... Um, 
this no, is not moving the needle, right? Definitely. And I think also it's it's almost impossible to learn things by heart for the fit part, because at least from my experience also, I had different questions um, in every interview process I was in. So there was also no chance to um, to basically expect those type of questions like yes. then because they were super individual uh, to my person and my experiences. Yeah. Um, but that was also something I enjoyed because it really yes. came across. They wanted to know me as a person. It was not, yeah. okay, your number, I don't know, 10 today yes. they're interviewing. Yes. Um, and we just follow the standard approach. So they really also, um, yeah, just wanted to get me to know as a person, which yeah. I believe after the interview also feels good. So you say, okay, yes. they know me and they still, or uh, because of it's that. Still, it's still, have it's still me. They, they know if they like me, if they like <laughs> me as an individual, right? I didn't, I didn't play a role, right? So yeah. that's, that's exactly. amazing. But still like the preparation to at least know a bit, okay, what to expect or how is yes. this going to be and what are they looking for, I think helps to also be more confident in, um, in just, you know, yes. face and, the and, part and also um, I would always recommend to still be yourself and not yes. what we're saying, um, yeah. learn things yes. by, by heart or um, make yes. up stories which are not you, like yes, absolutely. usually be detected, I think. Yes, and, and I mean, look, and, and again, right, if you're doing this um, 50, 100, 150, even uh, a lot, a large, uh, a lot more, um, you get a sense for this, right? So, um, yeah. and then you also probe, right, in these yeah. instances. So you never trust your initial uh, perception. And, and that is then when you really go deep down uh, um, the, the hole, right? So we need to uh, then test, so what is this candidate uh, telling me here, right? Is this true? Uh, is this reasonable? Um, and, and yeah, you need to be perceived as um, an authentic person, right? So that's part of being a consultant. Good. Um, very, very much, uh, uh, very uh, well, um, a great information here. So thank you so much. Um, I'm wishing you all the best on your journey. I'm sure <laughs> this will be a great journey ahead. So for the moment, thank you and have a nice day. Thank you very much, too. Thanks a lot and to the whole team. Thank you. Mm -hmm.